This is Pine Leaf Needles, Skirmisher of Middle Earth. Today we'll take a look at the Lore Master in Mounted Combat. To start Mounted Combat, summon your Warsteed. You'll notice that my Bog Guardian disappeared. This is because in Mounted Combat you do not have an animal companion. Except the one you're riding, of course. You're able to decorate your steed as you wish. You gain various decorations as you perform quests throughout Rohan. Other decorations are available in the Lotro store, of course. You'll notice that the UI changed. This is because you have an entire new UI since there are different skills available in mounted combat than you'll find in regular combat. The only skill though that is active at this time is Quick Stop. All the other skills are not currently available because you cannot do mounted combat within a town. So let's get out of town and find some orcs to kill. And there's one right there. Now there are various techniques you can use in mounted combat. The first technique is what I call the jousting technique. And what you do is you just do passage, you go through the enemy, turn around and make another pass. Such as the following. Now the jousting technique is probably more suitable for the melee characters than it is for the lore master. Now that was a bit of a stun. And the birds you just fly in were a side effect of my stun effect. And they're a debuff that's put on the enemy. So we do still have some animal related skills even in mounted combat. Now here's another orc. Now with this one I'm going to try to show the circling technique. In this case you just circle around the enemy and this is particularly good if you have ranged skills. And if the enemy is slower than you are. And that way you just circle around them. They have trouble m reaching you, but you're able to throw as much damage on them as possible. I find it especially useful against boars like this one. Now a third technique is to use the spur on command. Now this is most useful against mounted opponents, so maybe not a boar. So instead for that, let's just stand. Now standing can be useful a bit, but not against mounted opponents of course. In effect, this just means that you have the extra morale buffer with your mount. Now against this invader here, I'll show you the fallback technique. Because the invaders, they like to stay at range. So we'll let him comply. And I just throw stuff at him. And when he decides to start coming after me, I just fall back. Now let's see if I can find a mounted opponent. Not there. 
I know there's some in this air. Ah, here, it's one right here. Now what I'm going to show you here is the spur system where you do this and now your motion is handled automatically. Where you make a pass, turn around, and it's essentially a jousting technique made automatic by the system. And you will continue to do this until your opponent is defeated. Which is now. That's a toggle skill. Once you turn it on, it stays on. And that's the five techniques that I have found for mounted combat. Plus, my lore master demonstration. I hope you're looking forward to mounted combat when it comes to Rohan. When it comes to Middle-earth, it's the release of Rohan on the 15th of October. This is Pine Leaf Needles. May your shield protect you, and your spear never break.